Welcome back. And we also like to welcome in our panel for the week. Lots to talk about, so let's take roll call right now. Starting with KC24's political analyst, Don Larson, KMJ political commentator, Mike Dermanuel Jr., and representing the California Democratic Party for Region 8, Umberto Gomez Jr. Gentlemen, welcome. Uh, let's start with you, Don. I, I, Governor Newsom, he was angry and very visibly emotional as well, pointing the finger at President Trump and the GOP leaders for the mass shooting in Gilroy last Sunday. Is Newsom right to do this a day after it happens? Well, I think he has every right to be furious and angry and unhappy over what's happened because it's a terrible thing. And I, whether it's, well, we need to think what the American people are doing. Guns are popular in this country, and we are, we are fighting constantly to try to get some restrictions, and we can't seem to get that passed. And that may be the problem of both the Democrats and the Republicans, because the NRA seems to have a, a lock hold on these two political parties, and certainly that's part of the reason we have the proliferation of guns that we have. Umberto, uh, can you defend Governor Newsom's uh, tact right here, where he clearly goes after mm -hmm. uh, the Trump administration when Everybody knows Congress has to pass the laws. I believe that he has every right to. I think it was an emotional uh, speech that he was given based on him being a father, uh, based on him you know, having an emotional response because nothing has been done. Nothing has been done in terms of anything but guess, but stalling legislation. And a lot of that stalling of legislation has happened on the GOP side. I have to say that. Mike? I think his reaction was absurd. Hmm. I think the reaction of all politicians after gun violence is absurd. Both sides have been in charge. Both sides have had hmm. control. The bottom line is, how do you pass laws that prevent evil from happening? Hmm. If somebody can figure that out in any political hmm. party, they'll be a hero for all time. But nobody can figure that out. So. I'm sad to see what Newsom did. I, I, think, this, I think blaming one side is, is absolutely absurd. In this case, though, uh, this shooter was able to get his AK-47 legally from Nevada and then come into California with it. So right. Governor Newsom is saying if, if, if they would have had the stricter gun laws that California has, maybe this wouldn't have happened. True? I don't know whether it would have happened or not. He could have done the same amount of damage with a semi-automatic shotgun. Uh, they're, they're, you know, or multiple handguns. So it's, it's, you know, it's conjecture. And, you know, so blaming Nevada and blaming this state or that state, there's no evidence that it would not have happened had different laws been in place. And that's the problem. And then also the big subject that has been avoiding is that what did this gentleman post on the social media? You know, because he posted some white supremacist things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so number one, we have to have an open discussion when it comes to yes. that. That has been silent from our leadership, specifically with the President <clears throat> of the United States. Well, social States. media is the First mm -hmm. Amendment right at this point. I don't think we can hide behind the fact they're saying we can't legislate mm -hmm. against evil. Evil exists. That doesn't mean we should give up and, and quit trying. I think right. there are things mm -hmm. we can do that would limit the amount of guns that are available, and we can regulate that, but we're not willing to ta tackle that job. And I think it's very unfortunate. And anytime you've seen pictures of, the, of a child's body ripped by an AK, I, I, I just become livid with anger that we yeah. aren't doing something about it. Yeah, it's horrific. Yeah. We're yeah. all angry. We're, no, we are. But, we're, I have a six-year-old, and yeah. it hurts yeah. me deeply. Yeah. Um, I do want to move on to this, the tax transparency bill. The governor signing that into law this week where presidential candidates will only be allowed to be on the primary ballot if they release the last five years of their tax returns. How does, how did, Umberto, I'll start with you. How does he get past this in the courts, Governor Newsom and the state? The U.S. Constitution allows the state to primarily gives the state basically discretion on whether you know, they can choose their electors the way they can choose their electors. The Ninth then District should, Court should just Should all made elected a decision. officials then who are going to be on the primary ballot from city council on, shouldn't they have to release everything then? That's fine. That's fine. You're with okay me. with that? I'm okay with that because guess what? I have to, when I apply for a loan, when I'm in, in some type of civil uh, litigation, guess what? I have to release my taxes under state law. Mike. I think it's ridiculous um, for people that are considering running for office to have to give up all their privacy. Federal elected officials file federal forms that disclose their 
within ranges, mm -hmm. their income, their assets, and their liabilities. The president's filed those forms. This is a tantrum, and it's a tantrum that started on election night in 2016. This state has sued this president over 50 times. This is another jab at the president for no reason. Th these, these tax returns, there are two people on Capitol Hill that would understand a complex tax return. And so what do they want to do with them? They want to use them as political fodder. They have no other motivation. So the president, I think, is right for standing firm on this because what's next? What's the next qualification that we're going to add on a whim? Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I, Don, I don't Don, think I got, someone can be compelled to do this. Don, I got to have you punctuated here. Uh, how can how can how can you leave somebody off the ballot? Could it also be deemed that maybe in the primary now? more voters may not come out because of this. Well, you don't know how that would happen. You, you know, as he said, the, the state determines the electors, their yeah. qualifications under the Constitution. Yeah. But right. putting out your tax return allows you to reveal to the people your possibility of conflicts of interest, of uh, all kinds of areas of, of, of activity that could effectively hamper your ability to govern. And we need to know that if we're going to make a decision on voting. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if there's any privacy concerns, they can be redacted. We're not asking for full disclosure of the tax reforms, no. but it states that basically it can be redacted in some particular areas. The motives are nefarious. Transparency is a smokescreen. They're right. only interested in attacking the administration. All right, we got to end it there, guys.